How's it going, everybody? It's Robin here. Thanks for joining me today for your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Tuesday, October 4th. <clears throat> and I will be using the Starman Tarot Card Deck, okay? This is one of my favorite decks. I know that uh, lots of you out there have it, so I really hope you enjoy working with this one. It's kind of complex. So give yourself a little bit of extra time to learn this deck if you have just picked it up or you've had it for a while and you're like, wow, this is blowing my mind. It's really meant to because it'll take you into like extreme depths of psychic abilities. Anyway, so this is a general reading for the collective. I'm going to start pulling some cards here. Let's take that one. I'm being guided to take that one and then do a deck cut and take that one. And they want me to do that one more time. Let's take this one. Okay, we've got the Eight of Wands. Um, excuse me. Lacey, stop licking. Dogs, right? I mean, anyway, so the Eight of Wands. This is a sudden action. And I'm not surprised to see this card after what we saw yesterday. It was a little bit of a reminder, sort of. And that, that spicy guide is back with me. He's like, get it together a little bit, you know? So... Eight of Wands, a lot of activity happening. Again, we could have a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius coming in. I'm pretty sure we saw this card in the same deck last week, but I'm not really 100% sure. So if somebody wants to help me out with that. Okay, we've got a, a lot of really, really good luck coming in for you. Okay, so I've got the Six of Swords. So it's saying that a situation is just about to release its hold on you. Okay, so if there's been somebody like you want to say particularly clingy or... I'm getting an image of a boa constrictor. If you feel like that somebody is kind of sucking the life out of you or they're just like too overbearing, there's somebody and it's probably going to be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They could be, I'm getting the words removed from your life. And this is just, you know, not anything morbid is going to happen. It's just a friendship could split or um, some toxic boss could be replaced or a neighbor could move out, something like that, okay? And that could really help you. Actually, that's quite fascinating with this sort of burst of ascension energy that I'm seeing here with the Eight of Wands. And I'm going to show you guys the Empress and I'm just going to write down um, your video title. Hold on. Okay, so going back to the Six of Swords, like this, somebody, some air sign is going to be, they're going to just move on down the road. They're going to leave you alone. Don't worry. They're going to be fine. They are just being relocated by the universe. And this is going to be the perfect time for you guys to, and what was I saying about somebody that has a really negative toxic energy? If they don't just sap you um, from the time that you spend with them, Okay. Uh, it, it tends to have a constant sort of nagging, chipping away effect, you know, especially if it's somebody that is close to you. Um, you know, you, you could go home from work and think about your boss being such an a-hole all day long. And that is, and then you're going to tell stories or you could have a neighbor that's a complete, <laughs> I'm not going to say that, jerk. <laughs> um, and, and it's like all the time, like you could drive home and see their car and like, ugh they're here, you know, they're loud, obnoxious, rude, whatever. They're just taking too much space in your life and in your head, okay? So things are going to change very quickly. Also, because you made some sort of a declaration that yesterday that you're going to make the rest of your life the best of your life, all of a sudden the Empress comes in because the space that this air sign is taking up, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, they have gone so it leaves the the computer of your brain so much more is ram the right word i don't know i'm not a computer geek but you know what i mean it's like when you delete a bunch of files and you can save some new stuff it's like a rewiring okay with the empress card and you'll start to feel a little bit more lush and soft and um ready to welcome in new opportunities because that part of your brain that was obsessed and taken up by all of this anger or disgust or whatever it is with that air sign, it's suddenly available and new opportunities are gonna present themselves. So never underestimate the power that one person in your life, whether you like them or not, whether you're friends with them or not, 
just having that sort of pinpoint laser focus on somebody that is causing like a thorn in your side type of environment for you and having it removed, all of a sudden you can breathe all the way. So there's something very interesting going on this, this week for sure. So um, the most important thing that is gonna happen today for you is that air sign that has been giving you trouble, they're going to be they're gonna be gone and more room for good things to happen coming in. Whew. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up and I'll see you back here tomorrow for Dragon Day. See ya, bye.